Hey guys, welcome back to my garage. Um, this is kind of an impromptu video, but I thought it was pretty important. And I was working on the PC5 CNC lathe and I was setting up overall turns ratio and lash on X and Z. So I kind of slapped this little video together to help those who are trying to set up lathes. I hope you find it useful. Um, so with that, uh, let's get started. Okay, we're going to set overall turns ratio and lash comp in X. And this is a lathe. Lathe is in diameter mode. That means when we command uh, a G01X minus 1, the slide is going to move a half an inch. So we'll use the 0.5 in all our calculations. All right? The first thing we want to do, you can do this one of two ways. I tend to like to do it within CNC 12 where you can use the wizard. So we go set up, config, 137, enter, F2 machine, F2 motor. All right, I've purposely, I've already done this, so I purposely set this to 20 so we'll be off and you want to make sure that your lash comp is off. Set it to zero, all right? You save it. We're going to escape. We're going to shut down because you want to make sure you exit CNC 12 every time you make changes to the wizard or if you're doing it from within CNC 12. Now we're going to start CNC 12 lathe again. Okay, we're going to reset. Okay, so we're back. Now we want to back off. So I'm going to go in the positive direction a few thou. We're going to take the lash out of the screw. So I'm going to go forward till we're back to zero. I'm going to adjust my dial a little bit. I know you guys won't be able to see the needle quite well. It's hard with a camera. All right, so my back lash is out. Now we want to go into F1 setup, part, we want to set X, F8, and we want to zero X, F10. All right, now we want to go into MDI, F3. We must put in a G98, G98, cycle start, Alt S, or you can hit the cycle start button. Now we're going to command a one inch move. And I'm going to use a G01X minus one at a feed rate of five. So I'm going to take you back over here so you can see this. I'm going to do a cycle start. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so it fell short. Now it fell short by about, looks like eight thousandths. So I'm going to, I'm going to send it back to a G01X0. F5. And we'll take the lash out of it. Let's do that now. Take the lash out. Go in the positive direction a few thou. Now we're going to go back in the negative until the indicator's back to zero. And there it's back to zero. Now we got to do some math. So I'm going to escape. The move we called was 0.5. We're going to divide that by 0.492 equals, okay, one point blah, 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 1.016260. So now we're going to go back into setup, F1, F3, 137, enter, F2 machine, F2 motor. And now we're going to take this number, multiply that number, times 20 equals. So our new number is 20.325203. Now we're going to enter that new number here. Enter the new number, 20.325203. 325203. Enter. Save it. 
escape, escape, escape. I'm going to shut down CNC 12. Exit. Restart. You may have to do this several times to really get it in as close as you can. Okay, we're going to do a reset. Well, you can see up there it says off by six thousandths, eight tenths. We're going to, just for giggles and grins, we're going to run this back. Make sure we got all the lash out of it. Now we're going to go forward until it's at zero. There's zero. Now we're going to go up and we're going to do a setup. We're, okay, we're going to do part, set X, F10. I wasn't in the screen a minute ago. Escape, escape, escape. Now, we do MDI. We can go arrow up to G98. We've got to do that first. Now we're going to call the one inch move. G01, X minus one, feed rate of five. Cycle start. See how far off we are this time. Dead nuts on. So that worked out. Now we're gonna go back. So we're gonna go G01, X0, feed rate of five. Cycle start. See how far we off. Okay, we're about about three, looks like about three, about half, maybe a half a tenth or half a thou-ish. So let's take this back. Positive direction. Now let's go back, zero it out. Okay, it's zeroed out, backlash is out. Let's go back in here. Now let's go set up, F3, one, one three, seven, enter. Machine, motor, and let's go ahead and enter a value here of 0 0.000. Let's go 3.5 and see how that, that works. It looks pretty close. Okay. Every time you make a change, you got to restart the software. So shut down. F10, F9. If you get this, just close the program. Some computers are doing that since VCP 2.0 came out. Now restart. Okay. Reset. MDI. G98. Cycle start. Do the one inch move. Cycle start. Okay, we're dead nuts on. Now let's go back. G01, X05. And we got it. Oh, well, you guys can see that. And that's how you set up the X axis overall turns ratio and last. So what I'm going to go over here is setting up overall turns ratio and lash comp on Z. Um, you'll see I have an angle block on the cross slide. You want to make sure that, that this is perfectly perpendicular to X. And then likewise, when you do uh, X itself, your measuring devices need to be perfectly perpendicular to Z. So take the time and setting that up. All right. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to jog Z up to the indicator. I'm going to turn this so you, you can see it, hopefully. I'm going to go in the mi Z minus direction. Go to continuous. Mm -hmm. A little more. Okay. I'm going to turn this so we can, we want to make sure we take up lash out of the screw. So I'm going to go incremental now. I'm in thousands. Z minus. Okay, there, we're pretty much zeroed out. 
I'm gonna make it a little better. Okay, and the lash is out, all right? Um, I'm gonna do everything from within CNC 12, which is perfectly fine. Let's take a look at this. F1 setup, F3 convig, 137, enter. We want F2 machine, F2 motor. All right, so I've already done this. I changed this to 20 motor revs per inch, and I made sure my lash comp is out. And anytime you make changes to these to uh, parameters or these tables, make sure you exit CNC 12 and come back in. So we'll just save it. We're going to escape, and I'm going to shut down. Going to restart CNC 12. Try and hold my camera as steady as I can. Reset. All right, I'm going to make sure we have no lash. Okay, going back in the negative direction. Okay, backlash is out. We're at zero. And we're at zero here. If your Z isn't at zero, then what you do is you do F1 setup, F1 part, and then just hit F10, and your zero is accepted. Now we're going to go to MDI, F3, and then we're going to do the G98. I'm just going to arrow up to it, Alt S, let's cycle start. Now we're going to do a G01 Z minus 1 F5, which is we're commanding a move in the negative direction for one inch. Alt S, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, dang it. Right there. Shit. Okay, I put a weight on my right angle plate because it was actually pushing the plate, and we don't want that. We need that thing dead, dead steady, not to move. Now we're going to do the G01 Z minus 1 F5. So we're going to move in the negative direction one inch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so we went 983 and a half thou. I'm going to write that down. 983 and a half. All right. We're going to go ahead and move it back. We're going to move it back to Z0. Just to reset it. I'm going to back up, take up the lash, go in the positive direction a little bit, go in the negative direction. Okay, we're at zero, and it's at zero. Now we got to do a little bit of math. So I'm going to exit this and do F1 setup, F3 config, 137, enter, F2 machine, F2 motor. All right, so we did F2 machine, F2 motor. So now we're going to do a little bit of math. Bring up the calculator. Okay, we commanded a one inch move, 1.0. We're dividing that by what we actually moved, which is 0.9835. That equals this number. We're going to multiply it. So we're going to do a multiply now. And we're going to multiply it by the existing value in the motor revs per inch for Z, which is 20. So we go 2, 0, equals. So the new value is 20.335536. So we'll go over here and we'll go. Okay, we go in here. 335.536. 20, 20 point, 335, 536, enter. All right, we're going to save it. And we're going to escape. Got to shut down. Exit. And we'll start CNC 12 again.
reset. And you see that Z value's changed. We're gonna make sure we're still on zero here, and we are. So we're gonna go over here. We're gonna do an F1, F1 part, and we're gonna set Z to zero. Okay, we're gonna escape. We're gonna do F3 MDI. We gotta do the G98 again. Alt S. Now we're gonna get ready to move in the negative direction one inch. So let's get you over here so you can watch. And do the cycle start. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Perfect. Dead nuts. All right, now here's where we're going to check our lash. Now we're going to go back to G0, G01, Z0, F5. So we're going to go back to zero, feed rate of five. Alt S. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, it looks like we've got in Z about eight tenths. So I'm going to take this back. So we got eight tenths. I'm going to take this back. I'm going to take the backlash out of it and go back forward. Okay, we're back at zero. You see the DRO is at zero. We're going to escape. F1, F3, 1, 3, 7, enter. F2 machine, F2 motor. And we're going to go to Z, and we're going to put in 0 .0008. All right, F10. Should we, said we should we be rehomed after changing lash comp. Press any key to continue. All right. What we're going to do is we're just going to do a shutdown. F9. We're going to restart CNC 12. Reset. Okay, let's look at our gauge. Dial indicator says zero. Z says zero. F3, G98. All. Alt S for cycle start. Now we're going to move in the negative direction one inch, feed rate five. Alt S. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Dead nuts. Okay, now let's see if we get zero when we go back. Go back to zero. G01, Z0, F5. Alt S. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Looks super close. We'll leave it at that. So that's how we set up overall turns ratio and lash comp on Z on a lathe. Okay guys, I hope you found that video useful. Um, I think it goes over the basics of setting up the uh, overall turns ratio and lash on X and Z. And most notably when you use, when you're setting up a lathe in diameter mode, um, and when you call a one inch move, you're actually moving a half an inch. So we used the 0.5 as our value when we're setting up the overall turns ratio. Also, uh, to recap, make sure that your indicator or whatever you're indicating is perfectly perpendicular to the axis uh, that you're working on. In other words, if you're working on X, make sure your indicator is perpendicular to Z. And if you're working on Z, make sure your indicator is perpendicular to X. Obviously, it's easier to set up an indicator in Z because you, I just put it in the chuck. And then I set up something on the slide. In this case, I use a right angle plate with a lead shot weight. Keep the plate from moving. That was easy. And then on X, I set a right angle plate up on the machine and made sure it was perpendicular to Z, made sure my indicator was as perpendicular as I could get it to Z and uh, use that. 
Also, whenever you make changes, make sure you exit CNC 12 and then come back into it. And the other thing is make sure you always take out the lash. In other words, go in the opposite direction and then come back up to zero and then go ahead and move that way. So you're always moving in the same direction. Always, 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 always. Um, you don't want to take, uh, if you have a machine with a lot of lash, it could really screw with your overall turns ratio calculations. So with that, I'll let you go. Uh, until the next time, talk to you soon.